Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trine Divine Tarot. I'm Trine, I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. Okay, let's get right to the reading. How y'all doing? Missed you guys. Um, I'm doing a little something different uh, today because I just felt compelled to do it. I pulled from my own deck and I'm going to read you the cards that came out for you, okay? So let's see. These are the cards that wanted to come out. Some came out three at a time. That's why there's, you know, I usually do four, but here we go. We have beauty interest, beauty industry that wanted to come out, okay? So you might be changing your look. You might be thinking of um, doing something new with your appearance. Uh, you have some sort of connection to the beauty industry, okay? Maybe you're testing products. All right, we have a uh, helicopter watching over you. So there's somebody in your energy field that might be keeping tabs, okay? We have an enemy will lose terribly, okay? So, you know, you could have some unwelcomed energy around you that's keeping tabs. Maybe a little, somebody that's a little jelly, a little envious. Or you crossed them, or they crossed you. I don't know, but there's someone lurking. All right, and then it says right here, the future looks bright, brand new beginnings, happiness, joy on the horizon. Congrats, you made it. All right, so uh, you may have gone through like a little difficult patch, but I see that you're making it out alive and you're going to thrive, all right? So I feel like a blessing is right around the corner. All right, and then we have uh, quiet things that no one ever knows. So maybe you receive some good news or it says the future looks bright. So the quiet things that no one ever knows is like maybe somebody was having a difficult time and really keeping it to themselves. Um, whatever this is, you're going to make it out. Like I said, you're going to make it out alive and you're going to thrive. All right. And then this uh, says black magic backfired, return to its thunder. Okay. So depending on how you feel about this subject, you know, you could, you know, you could believe that people have the capability of manifesting dark en energy and sending it to some place um, that they want to target or you could also feel like um, somebody doesn't have the best intentions okay and when they think about you they think about you negatively and um, so much so that they have crossed the line into revenge and are taking action and taking, uh, but this is somebody that's like lurking in the background, okay? So it says black magic backfired, return to its sender. Because whatever they were directing at you, Leo, there was no reason for it, okay? So it had no place to go, but back home where it came from, something like that, okay? So, uh, let's see what your two overall energies are. Or I have to say it, Leo, you tried to cast something against somebody for whatever reason and it backfired, okay? But I am reading for the Leo, so I'm going to favor the Leo energy. All right, we have <laughs> the plane, the plane, the plane. Okay, so there might be travel in your future. You might be planning like a little getaway. You might be planning a vacation or you're planning to change a location. You're changing, uh, wherever you're going is leading to happiness. It's going to bring a change in your emotions. It's something uplifting. You might be traveling to go visit like people you haven't seen for a while. 
Why am I also feeling you're going back home? And if you're not going back home, you're just, I need a vacation. That's what I just said, I need a vacation. Um, so somebody needs to, uh, somebody may need a little, re you know, rest and relaxation at this time, okay? And they're really focusing on where to go to get it. All right. Okay. Let's see what it says. It says plane. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Okay. Because maybe you're feeling a little drained in your environment now. All right. So something about replenishing. That's when you fill up. All right. You fill your energy back up. We have love. Oh, my favorite card in the deck. Beautiful energy. Okay, so <laughs> the Leo could be in love. Um, you could have three love offers coming in. I know that we had this card possibly last week for your reading. Okay, three people are smitten by the Leo and three want to come in with an offer. So... Also, I know that this card says uh, love surrounds all your um, connections right now. So or there's like three very important people in your life that's really... It's either the love for you or the love for them that is carrying you through a tough time. That's the energy I'm feeling, okay? So it could be romantic, it could be, you know, platonic, you know, the love that you feel like for a family member or a best friend, something like that. Let's read the card. It says love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. I told you. Here it goes. Let me read it. I said it first. The future looks bright. Brand new beginnings. Happiness, joy on the horizon. Congrats. You made it. All right. You made it. This this plane looks like it's touching down somewhere. Okay. So you're going to make it to your destination. And that's like the card said. Physically or metaphorically. Okay. Okay. And like a physical would be like actually taking a ride somewhere, getting, you know, and traveling physically. Metaphorically is a state of mind, you know. Things are going to be changing. Things are going to be changing for the best. And you have a really great motivating uh, energy that's like... That's going to make it all worth it, okay? That, that, I don't know. All right, <laughs> let's see. What do we have for the Kipper? We have the plane, and then we have the love card for the Leo. Oh, I told you, a love offer. And you might have a choice between two or three. Okay, somebody, and look at she's holding the rose. I fucking told you. There's three love offers on this card with three roses, okay? One, you already says, nah, put them in the friend zone. <laughs> put her in the friend zone, okay, with the white roses in the background. That's platonic love. Um, but then the other card that came out with this is... <laughs> Daddy Shark, okay, your official person. Your official person wants to come in and present their rose. Oh boy. Okay. It's ruled by the 22. Two and the two, that's a four. Four is the Emperor card and the traditional tarot. So this person holds a title, or this may be you, Leo. You may hold a title and you want to present your love to somebody. You know exactly who you want to um, 
who you want to um, fill your cup with, who you want to um, complete your mission, complete your journey with, okay? You want your partner in crime. They're coming in. More on this official person for the Leo. Or like somebody, if you're like you're in a relationship with somebody and it's like not that serious, this person really wants to make it official and take it to the next level, okay? Like they want to make an announcement. They want to say, when they introduce you, they want to say, you know, I'm engaged to so-and-so, or this is my boyfriend, girlfriend, so-and-so, or this is my wifey, my husby, so-and-so, okay? This is a person that wants to commit to one person. All right. For the Leo. Okay, we have the gift that wanted to come out. So, oh, there's the red thread. All right, make it official. Somebody, if you're in connection with somebody, somebody might want to propose. There's that little box. We usually know what's inside there, but there's that red thread. The red thread is that thread that ties us together with our soulmates from past lives, from lifetimes ago, okay? And somebody wants to present somebody with an opportunity Somebody's very excited to do this. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love. They're all heated up, ready to go with the fireplace. Okay? You feel like home to them. That's your energy, Leo. You ruled the fire. So, there's something like about you that's like warm and inviting. They like your energy. They like your drive. Everything that the fire stands for, okay? <laughs> um, and here is the light source that's also in this picture. So they're having that light bulb moment, that realization. I got to get things going. There's a fire lit up under them. And they're coming to make things official. They're coming to do, take it to the next level. They're coming in with an offer. What else do you call that? They have the hands like this. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my God. We have courthouse at the bottom. Oh, my God. And we have message underneath that. So, oh, the red thread is also tying these documents together. Okay. So that could be a marriage license. I'm telling you, they want to make it official. They want to change somebody's last name. All right. And there's that red thread that's tying these documents together. I'll keep it. All right. They feel like they're divinely guided. You could um, met them at work, toil and labors underneath. Or they've been really um, on the fence about making the move, making the right move. Um, They've been hiding these feelings for quite some time. But there's a message coming in. And also, I feel like they've been guided to take action. All right. It's rolled by seven. Seven's the number of heaven. So they, they feel like this is, you know, a soul connection. All right, Leo. We have the phone call coming in. We have some sort of letter. There's some sort of information that's going to um, transpire here. And it's, a uh, look it, it's an official letter from your official person. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Okay. Do you want to tap into uh, the enemy and the black magic shit? Yes? No? Let's see. Uh, I'll use this one. Who's this enemy of the Leos? And why are they sending bad juju their way? They're doing this in quiet. Look at this shit. <laughs> the hermit. Okay. Look at this snake. 
on the trail. It could be a Virgo, quite possibly. I know the Virgo rules the the Hermit card, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's just the energy that's here. And the snake represents, okay, intuition. It represents um, the dark arts. You know, the snake can be representative in a few different ways, okay? Some are positive, some are negative. Um, okay. So the snake head in this picture is pointed to a certain direction. So somebody was trying to conjure something, some sort of something to stall you, something to cause delay, possibly an illness, because I know that the snake represents our medical field, okay? The the venom, but also the remedy. Somebody was trying to project something, okay? And they have a wand. I don't know if this is a masculine energy trying to project something, but you may have intuitively felt this, okay? Or they're trying to send a spook to your house or to your location. Also, the hermit energy is something that's lurking in the background, something that is isolated, something that is, um, you know, seeking enlightenment. But I think that what it was, what, it's being exposed. And either I'm exposing the message, I'm exposing the snake to you, or you're finding out for yourself, okay? Because he is holding the star. The star is lighting his way. So this is sickness. And what does this the star represent? Healing. Okay. So when they sent this snake to you, they were met with your star. So it kind of canceled everything out. But what this person wasn't intending is that it went back to them. So if you're getting, I don't know. Somebody may be somebody might be I don't know go it I don't know reaping what they sow is what I want to what wants to come out okay So if they were trying to send you bad juju, that's what they're experiencing. And they it might come out in an illness or something like that. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> what else for the Leo? Whoa. Okay, I told you. They were trying to send you an ending, trying to stop you, trying to delay you. Black magic. I said it first. In the background. Okay. You see all this together? I know my settings are backwards, but I read it for you. I don't need everybody reading all the shit going on in my house. Okay. <laughs> all right. So there it is. This is somebody that's doing this shit in the background and you've had that energy before, okay? And it could be coming from a masculine because it is representing a masculine in this picture. I'll ask one more time. Who's sending the Leo this, this energy? Here's another eight. All right, the snake is in the form of an eight. Okay, so possibly another Leo, something during Leo season. Somebody that works with you. Here's a rat that's on the table. Rats, what do they do? They carry disease, they carry infection. They brought the black plague, okay?
They also could be black. Quite possibly. They don't have to be. But somebody's trying to in infect you or delay you from your job or doing your purpose or getting in the way, causing a distraction, causing a delay from you making money, from you being successful. This is somebody that's jealous. They're so overridden or overriding with, with jealousy that I feel like they've made other attempts other ways. Now they feel powerless. So now they want to feel like they have some sort of advantage, some sort of power. And they did it in, uh, in with Google. You know, Google some... And they don't know what they're doing. And they just called a, a spook to them. So now I feel like this person is being haunted. Archangel Michael at the bottom. That's what's going on. Okay. <sighs> calling judgment. Calling a red flag. Getting your attention. You see it. There's all these little spooks flying around him okay those are spirits all righty when with the eight here could be another leo Or, you know, Leo runs into Virgo season, all right? Sometimes you guys, your energies are, um, sometimes you mesh, mesh together. Sometimes I can't, um, I can confuse um, Virgo energy and Leo t together because you guys are so, because I've met some Virgos that are very fiery and I've, and I've met some Leos that are that exhibit those those Virgo qualities. So this could be like somebody that's on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. Okay, yeah, here it is again. I'm getting chills. I got chills up my legs, and I got chills on my arms. I don't know if you can see. Okay, stay prayed up at this time. This is somebody that has they. Uh, so that's this, this is somebody that's obsessed with you, with what you're doing. Um, they created this for themselves. They've created this obsession. They've created this attachment. And somehow they've created some sort of blaming game with you as well. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, but I said... They did this because they wanted to be, they wanted to feel powerful, like they had some sort of advantage, that they had some sort of power. Because whatever things they tried to do in the past weren't working. This is somebody that This could also be like somebody that you had a connection with. And like I said, here's the three cups. They've tried something, uh, love offers. They've tried something three times in the past. So they're trying something else, okay? And whatever they're trying is masked, it's disguised, okay? It's cloaked. So the quiet things that no one ever knows, that's for whoever energy as well okay all right advice for the leo i'm gonna wrap it up be guarded at this time because something's being sent to you look at that shit look at the card all right be very guarded because you need to protect something because it's not only coming for you it's coming for things that you hold most precious all right, whatever is behind the door is very valuable to you. And there's somebody coming to try to destroy it. All right, be very guarded. Light some sage, light some Palo Santo. Um, seal all windows, seal all doors. Pray for the, the ground that your property sits on. 
and I would do the prayer of the archangels, okay? The four, the four archangels that, that rule the earth, okay? So I would pray to them, pray to your higher, um, your higher God of whoever that means for you. I know I, I'm trying not to get, um, you know, my God might be different than yours, okay? So whatever God that is, that um, is about love, light, and protection, that's the God you want to you want to um, pray to, okay? All right, I'm gonna leave it there for my Leo. Please don't forget to like, share, and just um, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, till next time, baby dolls.